I want to welcome you guys to our Pansy and Viola research house here at Baker Creek. This house is beautiful and I wish you could be here because it smells amazing. Uh, we're doing a few different things here, all different kinds of varieties of pansies and violas in this house. We are saving some seed in here, we are doing some breeding work in here, and we're doing a lot of trials. New varieties, a lot of them from overseas, we're growing them out and evaluating them in here. But I want to tell you something very interesting that cropped up just in the last couple months here. This variety that I have right here in front of me, this is a type of viola. This was just one of the dozens of varieties we planted in here, but it was one that caught Jer's eye. And so this last winter he said, he said, save seed, save seed on that one. So we did, we saved seed. And this last January, I planted some of that seed. And it's really interesting what we got. So take a look again at these parent plants. They are a uniform peachy orange color, quite cute actually. And now I want to show you what we got when we hand pollinated these plants and saved seed. Look at this. We've got dark purple. We've got sprightly yellow. We've got some that look almost like the original parents. We've got bunny ear type. We've got pale. These ones look like they've been bleached. All of this from these uniform parents. So it turns out that this plant is an F1 a hybrid. Think back to high school genetics. A hybrid is a plant, or it could be an animal, that has two distinct parents that differ in certain qualities. So maybe the maternal parent here was a sprightly yellow viola, and the paternal parent was a dark blue viola. So these plants are going to have genetics from a sprightly yellow plant and from a dark blue plant. Now when they have their own offspring, what's going to happen? Exactly! That explains this mixed bag offspring bunch that we get. Some of the plants revert back to mom, some revert back to dad, and a lot of them just fall somewhere in between. This answers the question about this genetic confusion, as I like to call it. And really, in order to get back to a stable plant that breeds true, it would take six to seven generations of self-pollination. So getting down to earth, can you save seed from your hybrid plants? Well, you've just gotten to see in real life what happens. Yes, you definitely can. These are healthy plants, but as you can see, there's a wide variety. You're never gonna know, when you save seeds from a hybrid, you're never gonna know exactly what you'll get. So if you're wanting to grow food or flowers and have a dependable crop every year and have the same crop every year, you need to go with an open pollinated or with an heirloom. These are the types of plants that will reproduce the same plant year after year after year.